Have you been seeing all the recent announcements from Bamboo Lab? They got the P2S, the H2C. Everyone's been crazy on YouTube. You see all these people with the boxes, but if you live in the United States, you can't get them. Actually, yes, you can. I got an email from my contact at Bamboo Lab and they went live today. I got all the pricing and the shipping info. Ships this year and we're gonna talk about it right now. We're gonna go through all of it. I'm gonna divide this video up into three sections. I'm gonna go through all the basic stuff right at the beginning. And then the second part, we're gonna talk about the minutia, the difference between the different printers, what you wanna consider, that kind of stuff. And at the end, I wanna do a, a, a just kind of a, a longer discussion kind of thing. So you can cut out at the part you want. There'll be links to everything down below, but the short of it is they're available right now, can buy right now, will ship this year, if not sooner. So first off, let's talk about the H2C. So the H2C here with the combo, this is the standard ultimate set is gonna be $2,900. I'm gonna round, just deal with it, all right? $2,900, and that's gonna get you not one, but two AMS2 Pros. You're also gonna get the AMS HT. You're gonna get three extra induction hot ends and two extra regular hot ends. The three extra induction hot ends are gonna be 0.4 millimeters. The regular hot ends are gonna be a 0.2 and a 0.6. Why? Now, there is a basic set. You can get the standard, and the standard is gonna get rid of all that, and you're gonna get just one AMS2 Pro and the H2C, and that's gonna run you $2,400, all right? So why do you want the difference between the two items? Well, it, it's simple. You have... Uh, you have six changers on one side plus the one nozzle that doesn't change, so that's a total of seven colors. So if you've got seven colors and you can't change them out because uh, you only have four on your AMS, well, five if you put one on a spool on the side, well, then you're kind of stuck, right? So you really need two AMS systems if you really want a management plus. Don't think of those other two are wasted because you can still do the standard kind of color swap like you do in the old school where it does the whole you know purge system and whatnot. So that's still a possibility. Anyway, point is you're looking at $2,900 for the one that you want, all right? They also have the one with the laser. You don't want the one with the laser. The only reason you would consider the option with the laser is if you only ever plan to buy one machine, all right? Otherwise, buy a WeCreate, buy an X tool. If you want a plot, plotter, get a Cricut. The Cricuts are just, they're badass, all right? They just work, all right? And you're, you're gonna get more out of either of those systems. And a Cricut does not cost much, all right? You can get a Cricut for cheap. You can get, the X tools are kind of pricey. I def, definitely recommend the, the We Create. They're great systems. Don't, and then you don't want smoke. Trust me, I've reviewed uh, lasers on my other channel. They're dirty, filthy little machines, just dirty. You don't want that in your 3D printer. Enough of that rant. Uh, so you're looking at, right now, add to cart right now on the standard machine. You can get it basically right now. Uh, now, if you want the ultimate system, though, I believe it ships in December, December 2nd, though, which means you still should have this by Christmas. All right, so you're, it's only a difference of a couple weeks at this point. It's November 19th, folks. Don't think that uh, December 2nd's all that far off. And for full disclosure, I ordered uh, three more P1Ss. I bought them myself. I now have nine that I've bought. And the uh, they said they were back ordered and they showed up the next week. So they I think they're, they know that people want these. They're trying to get them in hands as fast as they can. All right, now, if you've got an H2D or an H2C and you're like, I want to upgrade, when's the upgrade happening? Upgrade is happening in January, all right? If you've got the H2D, it's going to be an $800 upgrade. If you have the H2S, it's going to be a $900 upgrade, all right? The, uh, you got to replace some parts of the, the, the print carriage, the, uh, the build plate. you got to install the Vortex system. There's a fan upgrade. There's a... a, a was a circuit board upgrade, some other fiddly bits. It is, now they do say it's it's an advance. It's not, I don't want to say advanced because it's like Legos. You take out little screws, you snap stuff in. It's You're not welding, right? Welding's advanced. They're not doing welding or anything like that. You're just doing Legos. It's small, it's fiddly, it takes time. You want to move slow and do it right, okay? It's not hard, it's just meticulous kind of work, all right? Anybody can do it if you take your time and follow the instructions. Uh, I have an H2D. I will probably be doing the upgrade on it if just for the fact that I wanted to be able to then do a video showing people how to do it, all right? Uh, but we'll, we'll see about that, all right? So 
then what about the P2S? All right, so the P2S is coming out right now. Right now, you can buy it. You can buy the basic for 500, let me pull it up here, $549 for just the standalone unit. With the AMS, you're looking at $800, uh, and it, it ships right now. It is ready to go, all right? And again, links down below. That's the basic part of this video. For those of you who just want the facts, there's your facts, go ahead. All right, that part of the video done, we're gonna talk about, is it the right machine and what's the difference between the, the, the different units? First of all, this is called a tool changer. Now it's a nozzle changer. It's their version of tool changing or something. Basically in tool changing, there's the full, where it changes the entire tool head, all right? Uh, Snapmaker's doing that, Prusa is doing that. Then they have the ones where they change part of the tool head. That's the index system, all right? Which is probably gonna be made by Prusa, all right? You understand the Prusa system right now, full Prusa system, full boat is $4,400. <laughs> the Snapmaker, and I believe the Prusa only does five colors currently. The index system, I think, is going to take it up to seven. The Snapmaker does four colors, but all of them have the PTF tubes, tubes going out the top, which give it that kind of Cthulian kind of look, if you know what I mean. You can decide which, which version is right for you, which you think is going to last, or whether they're going to be you know serviceable and all the whole nine yards. I, I like the, the system that, uh, that uh, Bamboo is using, but who knows down the road how, how robust it's going to be. Is it going to last? It's got a lot of moving parts in there. Uh, it's really cool, but we'll see. But the thing you need to take into consideration is this. The H2S, and let's pull up the H2S. The H2S is selling standalone. So actually, that's the H2D, my bad. All right, that part of the video over, let's talk about these different systems. So the H2C is essentially a tool changer system. Now they changed just the nozzle. They've whittled it down to just the, the bare minimum that needs to be changed, fast, quick, simple. It has a cool you know, multiplexing kind of system where it changes you know, up and down. You can watch the whole video on that. You, can, you have to decide, like, do you want a full head tool changer? Like uh, the Prusa system, which I think with whole boat on that is like $4,400. The Snapmaker, which does four colors. I think the Prusa does five. The Snapmaker does four. It is $850. Both of those have all the PTFE tubes shooting out the top, giving a very Cthulian kind of look, if you would. You can decide if that's right for you uh, at those price points. But with this, what you need to take into consideration is the fact that it's based off of the H2D system. And the H2D split into the H2S, which is single head, the H2D, which is double head, and now the H2, they should call it the H2D plus, the H2C, which is, it's the same thing, they just added the Vortex system in. But it wasn't free, we lost more bed space. That's really important to take in consideration. The H2S, and let's pull, let, actually let's talk with H, uh, yeah, the H2S, let's pull that one up here. The H2S there, its base price is $1,500, all right? In fact, I take that back. It's, if you already have an AMS, uh, you're looking, or if you don't care about an AMS, you're looking at $1,249. I gotta tell you, if you are looking at engineering kind of stuff and you wanna do bigger things, uh, this is probably the best standalone system there is, all right? Without a doubt. I really like the automatic material system, all right? I, I do, I've, I've gotten kind of lazy, and I... I hate using systems that don't have it anymore. Uh, you're looking at $1,500 on that system right there. And then we take a look at the H2D system. Now this is the dual nozzle head system and you lose some printer head space because of that. So the way that's set up, because they're both on the same head, the, if, when the carriage moves all the way over, the right side can't get all the way over. All right, so you lose some of the build plate on that side. When it goes to the other side, you have the same factor. Now this one can't get over, so you lose access over there. The only way to fix that is put the same color in both heads, and then you can print on the whole plate. So when you go from the H2S to the H2D, you give up basically one side of the plate. When you go to the H2C, they have to make room for that carriage system, and they just chop off the right side of the plate. All right? And I'll try to put a, a graphic up that shows exactly how that works out. But basically it comes down to, because you still lose 
because it's still a double head system. So when it goes to the other side, you still can't get over there, right? So you're giving up that exercise. It comes down to like, I think a 305 millimeter size. Basically, that's what you're going to be able to use. Again, you can do the whole like, well, I put both colors in there. Now I can get that extra 20 millimeters out of it. But you're not getting back the, the part you lost to the, the Vortex system, which... By the way, for those of you who are like, hey, I bet they put the Vortex system in the X2C when it comes out. Possibly. But again, you're going to lose build plate size. There, there's just not enough room in that case. All right. That's going to happen. Just be aware of that. So do I recommend the H2C? No, I don't. I don't not recommend it either. It's basically, it's you've got to justify it. If you're a hobbyist, and you like you're one of these guys making you know, uh, uh, you know armor and anime stuff and all that kind of stuff and giant Pokemon's and whatnot. Have have at it. You have fun. Okay. Uh, if you're doing engineering kind of stuff, it has. I don't see any real huge benefit. I mean, there are things you can do by printing different filament types. The convenience factor is huge. The convenience factor of being able to just swap out the different colors and the different print head sizes, all right? I could be running a PLA in one and a PET G in the other, and I could be running, on the other head, I could be running a, a, a engineering grade. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you could do with this. That's exciting and all, but not so exciting that I'm gonna say, this is the one you need. I think, honestly, the best bang for the buck is the H2S, all right? If you wanna do, and if you wanna do multicolor, you can add the AMS on it, all right? If you're gonna do really detailed multicolor, like my multicolors when I print, it's I print one color on one layer and then I print the majority of it in a different color, then I go back to that same color. So it only does two print changes, color changes. I have very minimal waste when I do it. If you're doing intricate color kind of stuff like the stuff they've been showing with the H2C, it's gonna be a pile of waste. So if you're doing that, then you wanna look at the print head changing system or the nozzle changing system. Uh, as far as the P2S versus the P1S. Well, let's take a look at it, all right? So let me pull it up here. Where'd it go? There, I think that's it. There we go. So the P2S, you're looking at the basic one here for $799. We thought it was going to be $750. They said it was going to be the same price. But in their defense, not only did they upgrade the machine, but now instead of getting the AMS, just the flat AMS, you're getting the AMS2 Pro. So you're getting a better AMS system as well. I think the $50 compromise there is acceptable at that price point. I'm not going to break their, their backs over it. Uh, the uh, You get the full screen. It's basically the, the chassis of an X1C, uh, although I think it's a tad bit bigger. It's got the handles on the bottom. It's a great upgrade. All right. Is it the upgrade you need to do? Maybe. All right. Let's look at a P1S right now. Now, understand, uh, full disclosure time. I, I'll do the full disclosure at the end. All right. So uh, it, it, the, the P2, the P1S is with the AMS2 Pro is seven or 620 basically. 620 versus 800. You're looking at $180 in difference. Is it worth that to you? Only you're gonna be able to make that justification. Now for me, I just bought three more P1Ss, all right? And the reason I did that is I already had six. So I have interchangeable parts, all the whole nine yards. Uh, I have, you know, prints that I know that work with these systems. Don't, you know, don't fix what's not broken, as they say. So I still think this is a great deal. But for the individual, for the hobbyist, man, it's hard not to suggest that. Definitely consider that extra $180. I'm not trying to spend your money and I'm not trying to be one of these YouTubers who always says, you always have to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I'm not trying to be that guy. $180 is $180. That's a lot of filament and other stuff you could buy. But I mean, think about that. In the long run, you're going to spend way more on filament than you are on the machine. Do you want to get into a machine that is at the beginning of its lifespan or at the end of its lifespan? That's a you call, all right? And then on top of that, you need to think about the fact that, you know, it, it's you're getting into a machine that's new. Take that into consideration. It doesn't have all the bugs worked out, all right? There are some VFX issues and some other stuff going on. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix it in, you know, fix it in post, as they say. They'll fix it with upgrades, you know, it, with with with, with uh, BIOS flashes and whatnot, software. I'm sure they'll address it. Hopefully, they'll get it fixed. That can happen. Uh, 
but it's still a great system. And I, I do have to mention the A1s are still out there, all right? They're still great machines. I'm not a fan of bed slingers and open air kind of stuff. I like to control everything. I'm a bit of a control freak. Just ask my wife, all right? I like to control my environment, and I can't do that with an open AMS on an open bed slinger. And I've had them, all right? Now, this is the full disclosure part. I don't work for Bamboo Labs. They do not pay me, all right? I do have, uh, we do use affiliate links, but we use that with everybody. Uh, they have sent us products. They've sent us a good amount of products, all right? They've sent me three Bamboo Lab A1s, an X1C, uh, H2D, and then this morning they offered to send me a P2S and slash or, I don't know exactly how they worded it, maybe uh, an H2C. And for review purposes, we'll probably accept them and do videos on them and stuff, just get you stuff so you can see what's going on. And then down the road, I'm probably going to do the upgrade on my H2C just so you can see how that's done as well. For my business, I've bought nine P1Ss, all right, with the upgrade with AMS, the whole nine yards. So I've spent, at this point, I just had to do some quick math. I think I've spent uh, just shy of $4,000 on all my Bamboo Lab printers that I bought for myself. So I've given three away. I gave two to family friends, to their kids. Uh, one who's going off to engineering school to college and one who's a, a younger guy who's trying to get into STEM kind of uh, stuff and is really interested in it. And then I gave the other one to my son because he gave me the puppy dog eyes and it happens. Uh, the X1C we're still using. Uh, and then also we've gotten machines from, uh, in the past we got stuff from Anycubic. I've been talking to Anycubic now. I've been talking to Creality. Uh, Chidi just sent us their Q2 box with the Chidi box on top of it. So we're testing that currently. We have pretty much an open door policy when it comes to fully enclosed Core XY printers. All right. If there's a company out there that's got a Core XY uh, fully enclosed and they want to send it for review, we won't charge them. We'll just do a video on it. All right. Uh, I'm not super interested in bed slingers. I don't do resin stuff. So we have a one. The reason I'm telling you all this is we have a 100% uh, transparency policy here. I will tell you everything. Do we accept sponsors? Sure, I accept sponsors. But if you've seen my other channel, I don't have a problem telling you when a sponsor screwed up. I don't have a problem telling you when a sponsor's done something wrong. I don't have a problem telling you if the product that they're paying for, and I've done this before, they've paid me to review a product, and I'm like, this is a piece of junk. Don't buy it. They, that's why we make them pay in advance, right? That's the key. <laughs> uh, so again, you know, uh, if you watched through all of this, thank you for watching the whole thing. I'm going to try and do this in videos going forward. We'll get the, for those people with the short-term att attention spans, we'll keep the, the hardcore details up front, then the middle kind of stuff at the end, and the more conversational stuff uh, all the way back here. So if you made it this far, go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.